Hello all and welcome to a brand new series. I have my cat with here, if she would like to say hello. I don't even know if she's meowing. But yeah, we're making a brand new series, completely brand new world as you can see here. Absolutely nothing. And let's see how far we can get into this. Alrighty, so here we have me playing the game. This is a voiceover at the moment. But um, yeah, as you can see, here I am. Building the first thingy. This was like a demo thingy. I wasn't sure what to doing. I was still trying to figure out how to build it. And then, well, yeah. So, here you can see me trying to figure this out. I just placed a thing, a, um, which we call upside down. I finally figured out to get the tri adapter. So once I got the tri adapter, I copied those three. And then, yeah, it all clicked in my brain and I figured it out. So yeah, this is actually my, my first time playing KSP for like six months because I took like a really long break because I had to focus on other stuff. But um, yeah. So yeah, here I am just changing all of the um, stages and whatnot to how they have to be, renaming them, etc. And well, yeah, here I am doing the um, shielding. And after a while, I made it all orange and black, which it looked kind of nice. And then, yeah, I made it a bit taller there, as you can see. Yeah, I'm just doing little touches up here before I get it all done. And, yeah, it'll be done soon. So, yeah, there's the colour. And then I think at the moment, I'm about to do the, um, the, um, rockets at the end. The, um, engines. So, yeah, I have eight of those. And I tried to get them not clipping into each other, because it looks silly. But, you know, this the, um... Yeah, and then I ended up getting some RCS thrusters. I had the ones that used the normal fuel, not the um, other fuel, because, well, it was just more handy and they're a little bit more powerful. And then, yeah, I did my launch. All right, we are about to launch this bad boy. Let's get into it. All right, three, two, one, go. Woo! All right, so here we are. Uh, this is the voiceover again, because I'm setting the um, video to, like, more than one time speed. And well, I kind of, yeah, goddamn phone, my phone won't shut up. But um, yeah, so we have our rocket here, it is launching, it worked perfectly fine. And um, yeah, we're trying to get to an orbit of about 100,000 kilometers. Because I feel like that's literally just the normal orbit radius. But um, yeah, so... If you guys have been enjoying this video, please consider subscribing or liking, either one, it really helps me continue to want to make videos like this because I haven't made like a video like this ever and I don't really like my voice. So yeah, if you are enjoying it, please subscribe, please like, or even just leave a comment. If I need, if I need any advice, let me know because it will come in handy and I will really appreciate it. But um, yeah. I think at the moment we're still burning a little bit. We're just trying to keep it at 100,000 because the air density is still pushing us just below that 100,000 kilometers. But um, yeah, from what I know, I'm about to set the orbit to 100. Right, just ignore that I just cut myself off casually. But um, yeah, at the moment we're just going to get the orbit done and dusted. So I'm tele uh, not teleporting, freaking speeding up my game time because I'm about to set my orbit to 100,000 by 100,000. I didn't really need to to be honest I could have just gone like straight to 2863 but I didn't think of that while actually playing the game so yeah. Um, yeah we got the maneuver node sorted and um, yeah quick tip for you guys if you guys are new to KSP what you can do is when you are setting an orbit you can watch the um, apoapsis and periapsis flip well, you watch it flip and you want it to go when it starts flipping you want it to go around the middle and yeah it'll kind of help um yeah okay so i i would have, i'm just doing the burn now just finished it or just about to finish it but um yeah so yeah all right we've got a stable orbit now hundred one thousand by one hundred thousand it's literally one hundred thousand on the dot that is so weird and that's never ever ha haven't happened to me actually but um yeah all right, so we're about to do our orbit. So what the orbit that we're gonna need is 2,863,334 meters. I do not get it precise because that's like almost impossible. It's possible, but almost impossible. But um, yeah, in, yeah, I literally get it wrong. So I'm got, I got like 2,363,000, I got it wrong. So I had to readjust it. But um, yeah, it was doing a geostationary orbit. So basically, 
what a geostationary orbit is is it's when you when your craft is orbiting a geostationary orbit is when your craft is orbiting at the exact same speed that the planet is rotating it's really cool how it works and yeah so what a geostationary orbit is handy for is basically if you want to do a mission out to Juno or Jewel or Eve or something like that it just comes in handy because it keeps a constant connection to Kerbin in case so like in case the mun or something gets in the way of the planet so yeah it makes sense why you want this, something like that because if you're if you're getting a rover out there it literally makes it so much easier all right turns out i made a mistake i did 2364 instead of 2863 so i'm gonna have to adjust that real quick to 2863 so um yeah, I just did the maneuver mo maneuver no node, but I didn't even realize I could just do it right here. But yeah, two eight, almost, almost, and okay. Well, that'll that'll do, I think. And yeah, I'm just gonna do the thrust to a little bit so I can just do that a little bit and get as close as possible. And three, two, one, and that should no, not yet. And now, okay, that'll do. Alright, so now we're, we're, what we're going to have to do is just, I'm just going to speed up the time to get to the apoapsis. And well, yeah. Whoopoosh! Did you like that little transition that I just did? Ha ha ha. But um, oh my god. Yeah, the um, one of those I attached it and it like a little crack and attack and it glitched the hell out. But um, yeah, we sorted it. But um, we're missing two of the solar panels. But we still have power, which is good. We are still figuring this out which is good but yes we are now setting the thrust to just a little bit because we have to get it down now because that 2870 we have to get it to 2863 so once we get it down to 2863 just a little bit and we have to stop very soon all right that'll do but um yeah all right next step is we have to set our maneuver node and we have to set it to the exact same so remember what I said earlier, how you can make the apoapsis and the periapsis flip and it will be symmetrical? Well, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, my cat. My cat wants to say hello. Oh, no, she doesn't. She come up here and was like meowed at me or something. Never mind. Um, yeah, we're about to do this maneuver node in another 47 minutes. Kidding. But um, actually, I forgot to set the um thrust limiter back to 100. So let's do that real quick. And yeah, there we go. Yeah, and all right, so very shortly we will do this in three, two, one, zero, and kadoosh. So yeah, now we just have to burn for a couple seconds, and it's weird because there's like smoke plume in space, but smoke does not exist in space because, yeah, but, um, it is a bit funky, but damn, it looks so good at the same time. And we're getting close, one meters per second, and there we go, we did it. So now we have a symmetrical-ish orbit, which is enough, and in a moment you will be able to see that the orbit is just about perfectly in line with the rotation of Kerbin, which is, it's really cool to think about. Oh, I'm just fixing it up a little bit here now, and should be good, yeah, that looks good, I reckon, um, yeah, alright, so as you're about to see, you can see that like the rotation of the planet and the thing is the exact same time the only difference is that the clouds are moving at a different speed but yeah it's pretty cool how it works to be honest spaces are so fascinating but um yeah now we have to do this one more time so we have to switch target to the other one yeah all right so now we've switched to the other one i keep saying all right every single time i cut the video but um yeah i've got my cat here she's on my lap being annoying but cute but yeah, I'm just looking for, because all the solar panels broke, on like, all of them, the t two out of three broken all of those, which sucks. But um, yeah, hopefully it still works, because we still have one solar panel on each, so it should cooperate. And yeah, bad news is coming up, something bad's about to happen, I don't know when, but yeah, it'll happen eventually. and three two one kaboom yeah i don't know how that happened it literally just randomly exploded i should probably come a bit closer to the microphone because my cat's on my lap again still but yeah we have 
we had an issue houston i don't even know what he said that's american i'm australian but um yeah we now have two out of three because one blew up but um yeah the mission should should still be all right and we are still fixing our apoapsis which is good because we really need to but um yeah so we're getting it fixed right now i think it's just about spot on Yep, it is 2863 900. That'll do. It's only 600 or so meters off. And, um, yeah, so now we have to um, move time, do our maneuver node, get that done, delete that because it messed up, do it again. And always make sure it flips. So keep going, keep going. It'll flip a little bit. Oh, flip too much. Oh, flip too much. And kaboom. There we go. So, yeah. We have to just have to move the time again, so let's do this real quick. Yeah, the video is playing in two times speed, by the way. I'm just doing a voiceover because doing this in person sucks and the video would be way too long. It's already 13 minutes long, but that's all right. But, um, yeah, just enjoying that plume, that smoke, that fire. Looks so good. And we're almost done the thingy now, so... And there we go, 0 0.1 meters per second, 6262862 That will be perfectly fine. Alright, so our mission is almost complete. So yes, it is complete, I believe, actually. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you managed to make it to the end, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up or something in the comments section because if you made it this far, I am really grateful. And if you enjoyed it, please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment. It'll help me want to keep going. Alrighty guys, see you later.